Hey. Uh, but... <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just... Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go, get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star, sort of. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, s stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been, it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows, they kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah, okay. That'll work. Hey, hey, careful!
are. Outside. Fabian, too? Oh, what a treat. Guess we better walk up to him. Look, Caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy, please? Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What, what are you doing? Uh, uh, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted... I'm meaning to say to you, look, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No, no yoga. Uh, uh, All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of, okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I think they're in here. What's up, man? Yeah, I heard the traffic was intense on Dorsey Drive today. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you gotta do whatever it takes. I'm bi-coastal! I can't have metal on my shot. Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster! Ah! Oh! Are you popping a fucking tent over here? You fucking fuck! Ah! Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that are, are we gonna match? Ah, let me get to work. Ugh. Mommy! Just relax, okay? How about I draw those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Ah, there we go. Oh, that's nice. You got like a camera phone or a mirror? Oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you upside the head with it. Fuck this, oh, man. No. Oh.
What are you doing? Ah. Oh, God. You got any extra Who knew money? you could use Please. a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on. No. Not quite. skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Now? Just give me your size. I'm not judging. I mean, who am I to judge, right? All I'm saying is that Mr. Shrinkage might have seen through. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you gonna about take this seriously? Bad dad! No, no, no. We're not doing this with a train of police cars behind us. Get rid of them! But I remain. I remain.
a moron! Oh, Rupture an implant! gonna tell mom about it. You got lucky. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Are you taking this seriously? Getting you where you want to go. Yes, I'm taking it seriously. Getting us where we need to be as a family. That means not behaving like a crazy person all the time. Hey, if you want us where we need to be, we gotta go where we gotta go. What are you talking about? Your children are in the car. Ugh! Calm down and drive like a normal person. An average Joe. No one in this town drives normal. The traffic makes them crazy. Please, do it for me. Do it for Tracy. Do it for yourself. I'll try. That's all I can say.
Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Fighting. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right, I'm deranged. Are you gonna take us home then? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go, you know, like... Hey, you hit me! You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Me in the ass. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach. Or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad. Gross. You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really oh, comfortable shit. having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, ah. OK? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. Oh, damn, homie.
Here we are. Home sweet home. Remember this place? Kids? Rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. after the night before. Not see me? 